Welcome to Java Hangout. In this video, we will see creating a Spring Boot application by using Spring Initializer tool. We can also create a Spring Boot applications or projects by using IDEs. Uh, one of the most uh, important uh, IDE is STS, Spring Tool Shoot, which is used for sp developing the Spring Boot applications because it provides a lot of built-in features. So easy to develop the uh, application so that uh, most of the people 90 percent 90 percent projects uh, will use uh, sts uh, for uh, spring boot uh, application development so in this uh, uh, video we will see how to create a simple uh, project by using a spring uh, uh, initializer tool okay so for that uh, we have to go to browser just type spring initializer okay you can see very first one start dot spring dot io spring initializer click on this one and it will provide all the features just being a developer what we need to do we have to select what we want like if you see this project under this project there are two types of projects we can develop the spring boot application by using maven or by using gradle depends upon the our project requirement in this video we will go ahead with maven project and the language is java which which are already by default selected and spring boot these are the releases so this is a 2.3.1 snapchat version and this is a stabilized version which is uh, selected uh, by default 2.3.1 we will go ahead with that one only and uh, project uh, metadata we have to provide what is the group id and uh, java dot uh, uh, com dot uh, uh, java hangout and uh, what is the artifact spring boot app demo and the description uh, what is the package name you can give com dot uh, java hangout dot uh, spring boot and uh, here packaging uh, we can uh, uh, use whether jar or var file by default uh, jar uh, jar in the sense uh, with respect to spring boot uh, we call uh, fat jar normal jar is different and fat jar is different fat jar is nothing but uh, which contains the everything to run the application for example embedded server which is added to this spring boot so embedded service is a feature of spring boot okay we will discuss about components of spring boot in later videos okay and java versions also whatever we want latest version is 14 11 8 we will, we will go ahead with 8 only already selected one here right hand side if you see dependencies so we can add whatever dependencies we want for this project so it is a simple just demo project right we will add minimal dependencies like web just double click automatically it will be added and uh, one of the most thing is uh, developer studio is there developer uh, tools uh, that is also important thing in this uh, uh, the demo we not required if you want to we can add this one also okay then finally we have to uh, click on uh, generate this generate uh, whenever we click on this generator uh, it will automatically create the project and in in the form of a zip and it will uh, start uh, downloading also see it's, it's downloaded spring boot uh, if you see this one uh, spring boot uh, app uh, demo is uh, downloaded we'll open this one right this is the project name what we gave on uh, uh, Sp spring initializer uh, site extract this one i am using uh, 7zip is a software uh, which will uh, extract the zip file okay. extract here it's extracted and if you see this one this is a maven project uh, src folder is there uh, all the features 
will come now uh, we will uh, use uh, any one of the ide so i am using uh, ses so uh, i am importing uh, whatever we generated uh, that uh, spring project so here existing my own project select this option if you don't see this one just type here type filter text is there right maven automatically you will get uh, these many options so from that we have to use uh, existing uh, maven project because already we have the project next select that uh, directory okay close this one downloads it is there inside downloads ours is a spring boot app demo just uh, rest of the things uh, unselect and select only this one finish automatically it will download okay it is imported right if you see here src is there main is there test is there okay so com dot uh, java hangout uh, dot uh, spring boot uh, this is the package uh, what we provided there and this is the uh, application uh, which is uh, created when we generated uh, by default and uh, this is the resources uh, in the resources uh, static uh, folder is there templates is there application properties application properties is very 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 important here so where we can uh, provide the all properties uh, to this application now by default uh, this is uh, it, this will be run uh, uh, by using uh, embedded server we no need to deploy this application any on external service servers just uh, it will uh, deploy on uh, embedded server so that uh, whenever uh, this uh, application is uh, up and running uh, it will run by default on 8080 port so we can change that port also server dot port just write this one automatically it will provide the options right so i am giving uh, uh, whatever you want uh, 9191 something just uh, like this uh, we can provide uh, whatever properties uh, we want uh, according to our requirement okay then uh, go to form.xml here uh, this uh, parent uh, dependency is very very important uh, we selected this release right 2.3.0 and uh, if you see other dependencies uh, 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 spring hyphen boot hyphen starter hyphen web we we haven't uh, provided uh, any uh, versions that means uh, this uh, that is the beauty of uh, this uh, starters like parent starter whatever version we mentioned right uh, that version according to that version uh, it will take care uh, what of, uh, versions of uh, other dependencies uh, like uh, uh, spring iphone boot iphone tools uh, test uh, all those things okay the now we imported okay this is the application we'll see whether it is uh, working or not just right click on this one run as and uh, java application uh, spring boot app we will select uh, on that one so what is ours what we provided uh, port number we provided a port number in uh, application dot properties uh, that is uh, 9191 so if you read this one uh, so tomcat uh, started on uh, port number 9191 right so by default it will start on 8080 we changed according to our requirement and uh, started a spring boot app demo application in uh, seconds also these are the log format this is a date timestamp and this is a logger level info debug error fatal different different are there right those are this is the process id and thread these are the classes this is the uh, um, message okay uh, that's all uh, this is how we can uh, create the spring boot uh, application by using a uh, spring initializer thanks for watching this video if you are not at uh, subscribed my channel please subscribe it now